Hindi pa kaya. So whatever my comments are, maybe inaccurate also. Take it with a pinch of salt. One has to read the budget document very, very carefully. Both the budget speech as well as the budget finance bill, which uh, he will be bringing before the parliament. So with this initial uh, rider and this tema, some of my thoughts on how I felt the budget was. But I, I personally feel there is not much of a direction which the financial minister has given. I think some tinkering here and there on, uh, uh, I mean, the, of course, the, we've seen what happened just two days before uh, when the railway budget was announced. And uh, unfortunately, the minister, uh, one of us, I don't know whether you know it or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Minister, a very, very learned minister. I have heard him personally, uh, and I thought the railway budget was very pragmatic, very realistic, and he had a great vision for the railways going down. But unfortunately, by evening, we got the bad news of the, the, uh, of what had happened. And looking at that political compulsion in which the UPA government is right now, the position is, I believe, Mr. Mukherjee and Dr. Manmohan Singh are also realistic that they don't want to do something very path breaking, which may hurt you know, either way some of the UPA uh, partners. Three things, of course, uh, uh, is not addressed uh, very quickly. One, I thought he should have, after what we had in another moment last year, which of course the other scheme and there was a lot of debate in the parliament. At least I thought the budget document, he should have talked something about corruption. He talked about black money. Black money is simply corruption. Corruption is corruption with the Black money is business and also, but corruption. Black money, yes, when we are actually pointed out. He's talked about a white paper. Let's wait and watch what uh, he's trying to tell about the white paper. But I thought he should have talked about corruption, the e governance, the citizen charter, you know, what good things which uh, Anna Adhari had got and uh, I, I'm really disappointed that he should have made a statement and he should have gone go on and how you know, one can implement the suggestions which citizens have given to the parliament meetings. So a little bit of disappointment. Of course, as rightly pointed out, uh, 2008 was the year of watershed across the world in the US and now still we are not out of the crisis. I don't know, he seems to be thinking that we are out of the crisis. We have the European crisis which is lingering and I, we just saw a headline as soon as he started the speech that the European crisis widens, deepens, that is today's news, I don't know what the news is but I just saw it as a deeper on the screen. So I believe the crisis has still not got over but he seems to have reversed the trend because the excise cut, the uh, service tax cut was brought because give a fill up to the and, and to avoid the recession. Whereas uh, the, the, the mood of the government seems to be that we are out of now the recession period and then we should get into the you know the, the non normal period. Let's wait and watch how it will unfold. A couple of things of course uh, one very important amendment as far as we chart accounts are concerned is the indirect tax. I believe this is an indirect tax project. Yeah. Even a lot of importance on indirect tax. Whereas direct tax there are some important uh, amendments in direct tax also, but indirect tax, there are a lot of changes. Now, service tax, having a negative list is a very, very important change. Extremely important change. One will have to very closely, you know, study each and every business as to whether it's a service, not a service, and all those issues will crop up. And uh, compliance will increase because the number of SSCs will have to now comply with service tax will increase. Uh, of course, good from a professional point of view, because we will have to take care of our clients on uh, the compliance as far as service tax is concerned. I always thought that, I mean, you should have waited for the GST to come in place. At that time, if you had made a negative list, at least things would have been understandable. But it's gone a step uh, ahead of uh, GST. GST, of course, the hope is that it will come by August. That's what he's uh, saying. And I also believe that. We are very close to GST because uh, uh, there is some issue on those the law, revenue loss which the states have to suffer and uh, the sent press to. Of course, there was no statement we, we made. I thought you should have made some statement in the budget. 
saying that it may put the loss or not or whatever. So that's the issue between state and the center. But I believe once GST comes into a very, very good uh, move as far as uh, the Indian economy is concerned, because if you have studied GST, the impact of GST will be overall reduction of taxes. The impact of taxes, because there was some study made as to if you aggregate all the taxes, indirect taxes which uh, industry pays, the tax rates are far higher than what the GST rate would be. So had he coincided the rate increase as well as uh, removing the negative list into a positive list along with GST would have been a much better uh, approach. But be that as it may, he has his own uh, uh, fiscal constraint that he has to raise money. Uh, unfortunately, I mean, he is left with the direct tax uh, hit in because there is, in fact, uh, as per his statement, there is a loss as far as direct tax uh, collection that comes out of the fourth other part or the fourth other part. So therefore, uh, he's given some relief on uh, direct tax. But indirect tax, there are substantial uh, increases. Now, quickly touching on, touching upon some of the uh, aspects which he has mentioned, FRBM, of course, has uh, gone for a toss completely. It was 2003 when it was introduced. Uh, basically, it is fiscal responsibility of the parliament that what fiscal discipline the government should function under. It was given a go by in 2008 because of the financial crisis. But I believe we are still not on track. We are still miles ahead. And as has been rightly pointed out, there is nothing mentioned about you know, reduction in uh, the government expenditure or reduction in uh, subsidies, etc. Whereas the whole attempt is to increase mop of revenue. So that to my mind, that doesn't, you know, he should have brought in some efficiency in the government expenditures to try and control the expenditures, reduce the expenditures. Tax to GDP ratio, of course, is good, and uh, for a developing nation or a developed nation, it should keep uh, uh, increasing. GST, the good news is that uh, <coughs> the structure, that is, the system is in place. To recollect what, what is being said in GST is that they want to make it completely on an IT platform. All GST will be not be paperless, completely on IT platform. The good news is that the systems are in place. That's what the finance minister said. That by and probably by August, likely to be divestment. Of course, uh, each year the figures are given, but I'm last four five years I've been seeing the targets are always uh, not being kept up. This time, a study down shows. Let's see how we raise this. And of course, we have this fantastic ONGC issue. Uh, that's right. <laughs> 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 last moment, LIC had to sell it for 12,000 crores just to get out the government. So all these kind of things uh, uh, do happen. Some provisions of DTC have been brought into IT Act. One will have to wait and watch, see what it is. One will have to read the fine print. And I just heard GAR. I mean, don't believe GAR was part of yeah, it. Yeah, it is part of DTC. Part of part of DTC. Yeah, it is part of DTC. No, DTC is yes, but yeah, it is it not part of it. Brought into the yeah, yeah. Into. That would be budget, yes. That would be, be a nightmare. IPA and uh, this 15 years uh, reopening. 16 years. Reopening. Oh, 16 years. 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 Because without giving powers, nobody pays tax. I would also not pay tax. If I'm not going to be caught and, you know, it, give, by all means, give them more powers. Certainly, they require more power to collect tax. But at the same time, make them account accountable. The worst part is that there is no accountability of the government operations. It passes all kinds of, you know, high pitches, cements, all kinds of uh, useless demands are raised. And one should not judge, of course, an officer by one order. But if a person is consistently passing some order, which are not, you know, up to the mark, at least take some action on the officers also. So there has to be some fear in the mind of officers also that they are supposed to administer the law in a proper way and not in a head hoc way, <coughs> not in a way, you know, in which uh, I'm afraid. So that is one thing you should have brought. If he brings in provisions like GAR, etc., where I don't know whether you know it or not, but just briefly, GAR is basically the, the department can go into the uh, substance of a transaction versus the form. So even if your transaction is proper legally, they can say, no, no, this is for tax avoidance. Therefore, they can reject the transaction, which is a very, very uh, extremely dangerous uh, provision which has been given, the powers which have been given to the private professionals. Of course, the Rajiv Gandhi equity scheme, uh, 50,000, <coughs> that may give a little fill up to the stock market. 
But of course, the income below, he said new retail investors. I don't know, there must be some definition of what is a new retail investor. But I have to wait and see the fine print. There's a three year lock in it. Capital market reforms also he has announced several but one will have to wait and see what the implication would be. The bills which are going to be brought into this session of the parliament, uh, most of them are related into financial sector, uh, good uh, move. And uh, of course, capitalizing banks is badly needed after IRAC norms, uh, the provisioning norms, they more, become more and more tighter. The banks will need more capital. So, since the government of India owns public sector banks, uh, more and more capital will be required. Tax-free infrastructure bonds, uh, the amount of uh, 60 dollars goes, he says, he will permit uh, various institutions to raise. Let, let me straight away come to the uh, tax session. So that would be quite interesting. Of course, the proverb we read was that I should not be cruel but be kind or something. Uh, I don't know how. It's a paradox. But be that as it may. Personal tax, of course, the rates have been uh, increased. But I, I heard he saying that uh, uh, I'm uh, raising the upper limit of 20% above 8 lakhs. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah, so yeah, 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 20%. Yeah, so now there are 5 to 10. 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 5 so that's of course corporate the rate of taxes uh, same. Yeah, there's one very important announcement he made that EMT, which was bought in last year on yeah. NLP, the alternate yeah, all, uh, minimum all tax. Assets. Now he says all assets, so including individuals also. Hmm. Yes. So one and a half to sorry. All assets. All assets. He says all assets. All assets. All assets. And then there's the corporate because corporate has got mad. He talked about partnership. No, no, everybody partnership. Even individual to the government. Even individual to the government. How much? You have to see 70% of the capital in the government. That's a very significant move. Other than that, I think the direct tax. Subject of course, what we need. PDS on import property. PDS on import property. The amount of compliance by individual loans, actually. Right now, individual loans are out of TDFs, except when they are not tax on it, another thing. But I believe everybody will come. All the jewelry purchases are in DCS. DCS. Ah, not DCS, yes. DCS. DCS. And of course, there will be more disclosure in the return. That's what you said. Bank assets and abroad, etc. Tax audit limit is raised to one point. For professionals, he has not mentioned it. I didn't mention, but let's see. 25%. No, we'll have to see the fine print. 25%. 40, 10 lakhs, 40 lakhs, 10 lakhs, 60 lakhs. Absolutely. No, nothing, nothing. He's untouched. Multi-time dignity will also be allowed. Now it is one step. Even if there are two steps subsidiary or three steps subsidiary, if you declare dividends, it will be taxed only once. So that's a good relief for Service tax, of course, uh, eight to ten. As you mentioned, all services except uh, seventeen services, which will uh, be education, is that. One will have to carefully read the negative list. So what the negative list includes, and then uh, you know represent properly to the government if there are any other services. I'm not sure whether medical has been included or not. Fine thousand rupees. Charity is mentioned, but I don't know whether healthcare is mentioned or not. Yeah, yeah. Three categories. Fortunately, advocate the service. Service is not always there.
Yeah, legal uh, individual that uh, they make service to a client no, no, will still not be will not still business. Not, no, 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 uh, non business. Yeah, non business will not be still uh, covered by service. But that advocate, I am not able to understand even last year. That's a very weird amendment. The form giving to an individual is taxable. But if an individual gives to a non business or something, it's not taxable. They are very weird. Uh, because ultimately, the service tax is paid by the service receiver. So, he should see always from the point of view receiver. If he doesn't want individual to pay service tax, then why should he say that you know if it's a form giving to an individual, also service tax should be paid? It's a anomaly, but anyway, that's there. Settlement policy will come in uh, indirect taxes also. Again, one will have to wait. And then, of course, the indirect tax code is talking of one uh, indirect tax code. But I don't know whether GST comes in place. Yeah, but if GST comes in place, your excise, your service tax, and all will be in GST. Where is the question of code then? Another common proper actor. I don't know. Any codes, codes, codes for that items. Yes, yeah, for code. No, 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 no. So, so I would modify yeah. service code. tax and excise exactly. into one common code. Ah, one common code. Like DTC, the direct tax code. The single return for the code. It should be a single return for the code. But ESD, what? 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 He talks something about input trade, but I couldn't make out. He says I am giving more relief on input trade. So something which are not eligible for input trade will also be eligible. Of course, again, I want to wait and see. The service tax collection, I don't know, he mentioned, uh, I wrote 80,000 for 80,000. And I saw the collection was 80,000. I believe it's 80,000. But then I think the estimate is very low, according to if you say that I am taxing all services, barring the negative list, given by everybody, if you are paying on your gross, service tax is paid on the gross, we should receive. And if you say only 18 down goes and all services are covered, barring 17 services, according to me, that's why it increases. 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 That's why so with 2% increase in the rate, all services covered, why yeah, maybe it could be so new services is 2% leading to 18,000. Because what he meant initially, that tax collections are 5 lakh crore something, 5 point or yeah. estimates are 10 lakh something, or direct, indirect, both put together. Yeah. Yeah. If you look at the initial numbers, when you say that, so, but estimates, he said 5 point something is the this year. But ultimately he mentioned that my net revenue collection for the year will increase by 41,000 for 45,000. Yes, yes. 45,000 is direct. Yeah, yes. 45,000 is 45,000. 45,000 is direct. So, 45,000. Initially, that number was 45,000. Tax through or something like that on tax. No, but I I post them between the service. Yeah, service tax are not enough. Eighteen thousand is a very low figure. Yes, sir. All services extremely low. Anyway, we'll wait and watch. We'll see what the final is. Excited me again. So all said, I think I mean I'm not very happy with the budget. You should have done something path breaking. And you can't be just tinkering with rates and doing some uh, modification here and there and you know make, making us all happy with what are happening. You know, and uh, I, I would believe we should have spent more on education, we should have spent more in the rural areas, you know, where infrastructure is needed, create more infrastructure in rural areas, create more jobs in rural areas, agriculture. Those should have been more focused, you know, where as far as spending is concerned. Uh, and on the revenue side, of course. Because normally that expenditure doesn't go, it goes in the It doesn't reach. It doesn't reach. It's better that he has not uh, no, no, I mentioned about it. <laughs> no, but one, one silver lining is another. Yeah, but one silver lining is another card. 
Yeah, which uh, he says now I'll directly pass on the subsidy through the other car, which is of course very positive. Uh, yes. If it is implemented properly, of course. The buildings are very ingenious to take out. <laughs> but if it reaches properly, I think it's a very good move. Where the subsidies will actually reach the recipient. So we are happy if it reaches the recipient. Because the poor need subsidy, the farmers need subsidy. You know, those things are very important. Fertilizer subsidy is also important, but it should reach properly. The intended benefit, which is not the case, and that's why we are all heard that you know when so much money is spent on subsidies, that it doesn't reach for the cause for which it was uh, meant. Well, friends, uh, these are my comments on the budget. Uh, thank you very much, Nitin, for joining.